Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of London here in England. I'm actually in eastern London in the beautiful town of Greenwich. Today we're going to visit the National Maritime Museum and we're going to concentrate on one of the most historic exhibits here at this beautiful, wonderful museum. I'm going to tell you what that is once we enter the museum. We're going to learn quite a bit about British history and about the British Royal Navy battles and victories. Let's do it. Okay, I'm now on the third floor of this wonderful museum here in Greenwich, and we're going to visit the Nelson Navy and Nation exhibit. And this is where we're going to find one of the most historic pieces for the British. And that is the uniform that Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson was wearing the fatal day of October 21st, 1805 during the Trafalgar naval battle. And that is right there. The real authentic coat and the undergarment he was wearing when he was shot. So we'll, let's go look at some of the details and we learned, we will learn quite a few things about the uniforms of the officers of the Royal Navy in the early 19th century. Horatio Nelson was born in September of 1758 in Norfolk here in England. He was a really sickly child actually when he was very little and he was always ill. His first tour on a Royal Navy ship took place when he was 12 years old and in 1778 at the age of 20 he was given charge of his own ship as a captain and that was a great accomplishment. Now when he died on October 21st of 1805, he was just 47 years old. Now his death established Nelson as one of the most heroic historical figures in British history. And I want to add something else to that. Not only established him as a very heroic figure, but also as a very romantic figure as well. <laughs> Now, the rank of Nelson at the time of the Battle of Trafalgar was that of a Vice Admiral. And you can see that on the two rows of golden lace on each sleeve. You can see the right sleeve right here and the left sleeve right there. There are two rows of golden lace. You can see them right there. Also, you can tell he was a vice admiral from the wreath under the anchor on each of the buttons on the uniform here. It is hard for the camera to capture that detail, but if you were a vice admiral, the buttons would have a wreath right under the anchor. Now, contrary to popular belief, Nelson was not wearing the most conspicuous uniform during the battle. A lot of historians have stated that the sharpshooter that shot Nelson knew it was Nelson because of the uniform that he was wearing. He could be spotted from far away, but that's not really true because according to the staff here at the museum, he was not wearing the most conspicuous or obvious uniform. So it would have been very difficult to really distinguishing from the other people on deck during the chaotic scenes of the battle. It was also very customary to display on the left side of the coat, if you were Vice Admiral, the different orders received. And uh, on this particular occasion, 
Nelson had decided to display four orders. Let's look at them. Let's hope I can remember all four of them. The one on top is the order of the bath, B-A-T-H, with a capital B. Right below it, and to the right side, is the order of the crescent, awarded to Nelson by the Sultan of Turkey. To the left of it is the German order of Saint Joachim, J-O-A-C-H-I-M, and on the bottom, the order of Saint Ferdinand, awarded to Nelson by Ferdinand IV, the King of Naples. Now the coat that you see here has four, or it, it has been created from four different elements, including silk, wool, brass, and golden thread. Now, this single battle, the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, took place between the British Royal Navy and the combined navies of Spain and France. And because of the tactics that Nelson used, of course, Spain and France were defeated. Now, this single incident, this single battle actually established Britain as a great power all over the world. And it was unchecked. Nobody could really control the British anymore. The Royal Navy was all over the world and established many, many colonies. Now, let me give you an example of how powerful Britain became after the Battle of Trafalgar. Just last year, I was in the Central Pacific in the Republic of Kiribati or Kiribati and Tuvalu. These are two nations that are almost 18,000 kilometers away from London, but they were British colonies until the late 1970s. That's how far the British had spread their power. That's because of the Battle of Trafalgar, because of Nelson's victory, and because of a very strong Royal Navy. Let's look now at the part of the uniform that still shows the entry point of the bullet that killed Nelson. You can see that hole on the left shoulder. At 1.15 p.m. in the middle of the battle, a sharpshooter from the French ship Redoubtable, who was on one of the masts of the French ship, shot at Nelson. The bullet entered on the left shoulder, shattered the bones of the shoulder, entered the lungs, and finally was lodged in the spine of Nelson. He died three hours later at 4.15 p.m. on October 21st, 1805. Now, the undergarment that you see there, it's made out of cotton and it still carries evidence of his blood on it. The camera maybe cannot capture, but right here at the very end, you can see some indications of Nelson's blood as well. But if you were to undo the coat, and look at the shoulder area right there, it's full of blood from that critical moment in Nelson's life.